it's important to periodically compress your map database. As you're making changes, a log of all of your changes is being recorded. And this is what allows you to undo changes, you know, going back, you know, many, many steps. Until all of those changes have been saved and compressed, they will continue to build up in this log, and that log needs to be cleared out from time to time. To do this, we need to run a geoprocessing tool. So we're going to click on the analysis menu and then click on tools. Or alternately, you might have the tools option up in your toolbar. So you can see that red toolbox looking icon. So either way, when you get to the geoprocessing window here, type in compress and press enter. And the first option in the list will be the tool that we need to use, and it's called compress. So we'll click on that. So this is showing us here in the blue screen a little message saying pending edits. So I made a bunch of changes out here, and I either have the option of saving these, so save edits, or I can just discard these and get rid of those. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and save these. So I'm saving my edits. So now it says no pending edits. And now I need to pick my database that I want to uh, compress. So I clicked in the text box, then I click on the folder here, and you'll need to select the correct uh, database in order to compress the right uh, map information. So uh, the first thing is under the project, you want to select databases, and that might be selected for you automatically. And then you want to find one of the options that has .sde in it. The normal naming convention is going to be uh, the utility abbreviation or name, and then electric or water or gas and then the word ESRI after that, and then .sde. So if you click on that once, it will show up here in the name text box, and then you can say OK, and then you can say Run. So when you run that, it's going to go and run through the compression. You can see it running as it's going, and usually it's going to finish with the word Compress Completed, and you'll see a green uh, background there with a checkbox. That means everything worked out just fine and there wasn't any issues.